Yo, what is up? I am Goldie and we are on point with the plug. And tonight we have a special guest. His name is Murphy Lee. Y'all remember Murphy Lee? I know y'all know Murphy Lee. He was with the St. Lunatics. Give me just a second. I'm about to put him in real quick. What's up, Murphy Lee? What's happening? How you doing? I'm doing good. I'm glad you're joining us. How's your day going so far? I was going cool, just rolling, making rounds, getting it in. You look like you rolling. That was me earlier today. So okay. my name is Goldie, and I'm going to ask you a couple questions, okay? So we're going to have fun with it as well, okay? All good. Okay. Oh, uh, I seen on one of your interviews, um, I, if I'm mistaken, correct me. Can you freestyle? Do you know I'm how like, free style? Huh? <laughs> that sounds like free. I don't rap. I don't do nothing for free. It cut out on me. What you say? I don't, I don't know how to rap. Can I you hear me now? Hold on. Say it. You said, I don't know what. Okay. I said, I don't do nothing for free. I don't know how to freestyle. That's okay. I was gonna have fun with you, but that's, that's okay. That's what you're asking. That's okay. So the question that I no, want... I just don't know how to freestyle. You mean like rap freestyle? Yeah, like if I give you a, if I give you a word, if I give you a word, can you give me like two bars with the word? Are you are you quick on your toes like that? Hello. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? He must have got crooked. A sprain. <laughs> Can you hear me, Murphy Lee? Can you hear me? Because I can't hear you. Hello. Can you hear me now? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Oh man. You must you must know, be in the jungle. No, I'm a little bit everywhere, but I can't uh no, I don't I can't no I'm not off the top of the dome. That sounded great. <laughs> you know what? I once upon a time I was about to be a rapper and I couldn't I couldn't freestyle either. But I can write. I could write for sure. Well, we ain't gonna do it. I ain't gonna put you on the spot like that. So, um I heard you have a new album. Yes, ma'am, I do. It's um, called Second Time Around. Okay. Um, it's a great album, man. I love it. Um, I got um some cool producers. I went back to the people I started with with the who did Tail Feather and all uh, my beginning stuff. I got uh, Coco, and I also got Je on the thing, man. So it's it's a it's a great album though. It's called Second Time Around. I got the ticks on there. I got um uh, I got the Hamiltons on there. Um, I got my wife, Seven Lee, on there. Uh -huh. uh, my daughter on Your there. Daughter? I got my son on there. Yeah, you like, putting it, everybody on. Thing. Yeah, yeah, it's a, little, it's a little fun album, man. I love it um, to death. You know what I'm saying? But you can go to uh, newmurph.com and get that. We can go. What? Where Where can we find it at? Newmurph.com. Okay. So is your style different from the first album to this album? Or what do you think is... Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say my style is different. Uh, subject matters may have changed, but okay. now nah, my style, I'm still Murphy Lee. Okay, so we still, uh, uh, we still, are we still doing mm -hmm. this? Yeah, you still got that bop. Okay, okay. As long as we can do it. Still swinging. Okay, still swinging. we can do it. Okay. So, if you could do anything different in your music career, what would it be? If I could do anything different in my music career, what would it be? Mm -hmm. I probably would have learned how to play an instrument, learn how to produce. Play Learn instrument. how to play an instrument. Uh -huh. What kind of instrument are you interested in? Uh, I like guitars and stuff. Guitars or maybe like a, uh, no, I don't want to play no horns. I, I want to play like a guitar, a guitar or a bass. I think it would be a good look on you with dreads. Me too. With dreads. Me too. You're going to be hot <laughs> for real. 
especially on like yeah. TikTok and stuff. Yeah, you should look into that. That's that's a good look on you. I okay. try that. Yeah, do it. <laughs> Go for it. At what point in your career did you feel like giving up, and what kept you motivated? Um, where did my career make me feel like giving up? I never felt like giving up. Um. I always wanted to wait and do it a certain way. I know that was a uh, bad thinking. To uh, wait, but yeah, just like just till you get it right, till everything's right. But it ain't gonna never be perfect. Or it ain't never gonna be right. So you just should just go. You know what I'm saying? I That's right. That. That's right. That's like trying to like. So would you say you're a perfectionist? Hold on, cause you heard this train. Yeah, I heard. Right. Hey, it's very disrespectful. It's very disrespectful. <laughs> Give me. Just, do you still hear it? Uh, nah, let's go. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, so so would you say you're a perfectionist? Nah, not a perfectionist. I just uh I just did so much freestyling in the beginning of my career that if the business ain't right at certain times I just don't start or I don't begin something. But I think sometimes you gotta jump in. So I'll guess and handle right. and handle your business. Yeah, handle your business while you're doing it. Okay. So, what artists that you have not worked with that you would love to collab with? Um, uh, Erica Badu, Bruno Mars. Uh, you need that guitar. If you try and be with Erica, you need to get that guitar. Yeah, man. And uh, probably like uh, Anthony Hamilton, somebody. CeeLo Green. Yeah, that'll be nice. That's that'll be a different look too. Mm -hmm. I like it. I like it. That would be nice. Okay. So, it's a pop quiz. I want to know. I want to see how well you know your lyrics. You ready? Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. What I song guess. is this line in? I hope you don't get it. <laughs> I hope you I don't get it. I probably won't. I hope you don't get it. Because <laughs> I looked hard on this, okay? Okay. Uh, and I'm not gonna say it like you said it so you don't get the, the tune. But I'm like Bennett. I've been in it since ninety-three. Up. Damn. <laughs> Damn. You weren't supposed to get that. You can't say no metaphor. I remember all the metaphors. Oh. You, have to, you have to go you have to go with something special, some remix but, that I don't remember. So, so I know all, all the main things I know because I perform on every weekend. So you were 16 when you did that? When I wrote it, yep. When we, when we finally did it for Country Grammar, I was 18. You lived a life at 16 years old and 18? You started off young. You started off young. That's, that's, I like that for you. I like that. So the last question that I have, it has nothing to do with your music or anything like that, but in honor of Martin Luther King Day, what is a dream that you are wanting for us as black people? Um, in honor uh, of Martin Luther King Day, what is a dream? To, my dream is for all black people to be, can you hear me? I can. I want my dream is for all black people to be more accountable of our actions and I think most of our black people need conflict re conflict resolution. Conflict you know resolution. what I'm saying? And that comes that comes with anger management. That comes with, you know, we go through things in life and then when something happens we can't control ourselves. And we gotta learn to control ourselves because uh, right now that's what's taking us out. Between murders and going to jail, that's part of what's taking us out. Yes. I would agree too. I feel like a most lot of sides, you know what I'm saying? Cause we lose two at a time. So if somebody dies, somebody go to jail. Yeah, it's it's a, a lot of a lot of anger that that we have bottled up with us. I feel like it's it's from like uh, PTSD for real. Like I feel like I feel like all of us suffer from that from like generation after generation. And we, I don't know if we can if it's therapy that we need. I don't know what it is, but. It has to change. So, but my dream, yeah. my dream, I, I'm going deep with it. My dream for what I want for us as black people is um, 
We need that reparation. <laughs> we need that reparation. Like, I, I, I feel like we'll be, uh, and what that reparation look like would be like land, and we need we need a, a great leader that knows something, and then also knows how to control their emotion when we are faced with uh, confrontation and stuff. Um, I agree with that. Yeah. Uh, the leader part, I, I think we all are leaders. I think if we put one person in charge, someone will, it won't work. We need, what we need is leaders. You know how they got it for yes. jobs and so they got team leaders and all that? Like uh -huh. that's what's needed. We need management within our community. You know what I'm saying? Like we need to police ourselves. We need to do so much that can uh, show some kind of understanding and um, some kind of, uh, we too hard on each other. First of all, you know what I'm saying? Like, so we gotta, we gotta know where we coming from, um, know that we're different. You know what I'm saying? I think all black people think every, all black people are the same and we not, you know what I'm saying? We, we're, we got very different ways. A lot of people are different, you know what I'm saying? And we got once we realize that we can calculate on who to, you know what I'm saying? Heal and move forward and a lot of stuff will move forward. Okay. So like, with the healing part, uh, what do you do like far as like uh, self care for you? Are you do you read? Do you write? Do you meditate? Do you do yoga? Like what what keeps you centered? I don't even know. You don't know. I, I could I could be young and say marijuana, then I could be uh, grown and say just from living and experience, you know what I'm saying? I know that when it rain, it's going to stop. I know that when it's dark, it's going to be light soon. You know what I'm saying? When yeah. stuff be so wrong, it feels so wrong, at some point it's going to get right. You know what I'm saying? Like nothing is permanent. Everything's uh, temporary. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of fake, like how life is. So if we constantly see these ups and downs and, and these, I think we should learn from them. So my, most of my center comes from just experience just knowing what's what you know what i'm saying like so i'm i know what that is you know i know this feeling if i'm feeling a certain way i know why i'm feeling that way or you know what i'm saying yeah that's is was that part of growth or this has always been in yeah uh it's, it's i always been laid back to be that way but yeah it's growth growth and experience yeah that's good well it was a pleasure interviewing you thank you so much for your time for on martin luther king day and I greatly appreciate it. <laughs> I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And we are on points with the plug. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. We are on point with the plug. Thank you. If you or someone you know would like to be a panelist on His and Hers, email us at production at plugnetworkonline.com. Subject line, His and Hers. Want your brand or business featured on The Plug? Advertise with us at PlugNetworkOnline.com. Again, advertise with us at PlugNetworkOnline.com. We got the eyes that are looking for you. Years of experience with natural, carefully handcrafted products makes PK Powders your go-to for all skincare needs. Owned and operated by licensed esthetician Precious Kental, PK Powders provides a myriad of solutions to keep you looking good, smelling great, and above all, maintain your skin's health. Located 1930 Bishop Lane, Suite 101, Louisville, Kentucky, right inside the Waterson Towers building. The play is PK.